What is up everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another My Little Pony Horror AU. This one is called My Little Pony Friendship is Poisoned. Now this one is not as popular as other AUs, but it's still one that I wanted to end up checking out eventually. And also I do want to apologize for not uploading in quite a bit. I know it's been a minute, but I've had a lot I've been working on. I started work again. I've been putting myself in check, and I've been really trying to get over a lot of the drama that happened, and I do want to move on genuinely from all that. But before we jump into that, I do want to say, if you are a kid watching this video, do be aware I'm going to start saying this at the beginning of every AU video because I feel like it would be necessary and more mature of me. If you are a younger member, do be aware this is going to contain gore, it's going to be for more mature audiences, if you feel like you can handle some scary stuff like this, um, I can't control if you decide to stay or go, but if you do get triggered by stuff like that, I do recommend you head out. But if you're still here, I hope you do end up enjoying the video, but we're going to be looking at this AU here. This is one I've looked at. They only got like 60 followers. And also, I do want to I do want to say before we get into it as well. I have a brand new Discord server, basically the Worm server is coming to a close, mainly due to all the negativity that was experienced from that server, and I want everything to be forgotten. That's why there's a new server, and it's going to be called Jamie's uh, Tavern, or Riku's Tavern, because it's based upon my OC Riku. So feel free to join the Discord in the description below, feel free to make some friends, and if you were a part of the Worm server, there's even a Worm's graveyard within the server where you can share your favorite memories from the Worm server. That'll be linked in the description below, so feel free to check that out. But anyway, well, let's get into My Little Pony. Uh, friendship is poisoned. So we're going to be taking a look at some of these videos here, and let's get started right here. So I'm going to turn off the music because I'm going to start adding my own music to AUs because I'm tired of the glitchy music and sometimes when my internet's a little slow, it can mess up. I don't know. And I kind of don't want to deal with that. So trigger warning for future episodes, blood, gore, and other stuff of that sort. So there's the up trigger warning there. Keep that in mind. This is my MLP infection AU. This is the poison berry infection. Sorry if the art is bad, which... I normally don't care about art, as long as you're making AUs that are entertaining than others, I don't have an issue. So let's get started, shall we? My Little Pony, Friendship is Poisoned, Part 1 Spike went to collect berries in the forest for Pinkie Pie's new cupcake recipe that she wanted to make, which needed specific blue-colored berries. Hey Pinkie, I found some of those berries out here. Yay, go ahead and grab them so we can make the cupcakes. And Spike grabs the little berries, and he says okay. Spike returned the Pinky's house and made the cupcakes. Once done and baked, the tiny blue cakes were shared among Pinky and Spike. After baking and eating the cupcakes... Those were delicious, weren't they, Spike? Yeah, but I need to get home to Twilight. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow, Pinkie Pie. See ya. Looks like she has, like, jam from the berries on her hooves and her mouth. To be continued. Sorry this was so short. So that's episode one. It's not that bad, so. Got an interesting little start. Uh, if this starts because of, like, Pinky and Spike, that is going to be quite different from other AUs. Because it always starts with, like, either Dash or Twilight or this or that, yada, yada, yada. Or Fluttershy, for fuck's sake. But this one kind of starting with, like, Spike or Pinky is, like, okay. That's, that's quite interesting. I like that. So let's move on to part two. Part 2, My Little Pony, Friendship is Poisoned. Spike returned to Twilight's house later than usual after he spent the whole day with Pinky. Uh, the treehouse is all lit up. Twilight! Are you home? Yeah, I'm up here. I've been up here the whole time, silly. Oh, there you are. Where were you all day? I was with Pinkie Pie, and we got berries from the forest to use in her new cupcake recipe. I bet they were yummy. They were amazing. We should be getting to bed, Spike. It's 10 p.m. All right. The next morning. That morning, Spike woke up before Twilight because he felt sick and like he had to throw up. 
which he did, but it was, and odd, blue color. He didn't pay much attention and thought it was all the sugar and stuff in the cupcakes. Spike, are you down there? Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, Spike, you don't look good. I don't feel so great. We better get you to a doctor, then. To be continued, so let's move on to the next episode. Uh, part 3, My Little Pony, Friendship is Poisoned. We got another trigger warning. Trigger warning, blood, slight gore, I guess, IDK, and irritated eyes. So, let's get on with that, shall we? We need to get you in and check you out so we can see what's wrong with you, Spike. They got Spike in to see the nurse and find out what is wrong with him. The nurse says, So we did find a few tests and found out he has consumed a poisonous wild berry that can be found in forest around Equestria. They're blue colored and if someone has eating and goes untreated for 48 hours or two days, they become infected and can't be cured by any medication we don't have here at the hospital. Oh no, there's no need to worry. Calm down now. You're gonna be just fine. You'll be cured after we give you this shot and then we'll send you on your way. Am I infected? Will he be okay? You be on your way now. You should be better by tomorrow when you wake up. Okay, we'll get going now. On their way out, Spike told Twilight about how Pinky actually ate most of the cupcakes, and they should probably check up on her to see how she's doing. At Pinkie Pie's house. Oddly enough, all the lights were out, but they began to wander through Pinkie's house to find her. Pinkie, are you home? Pinkie Pie... Twilight's POV. What the hell is wrong with Pinky? What the hell? Pinkie Pie, is that you? You don't look so good. Oh, she's growling. What the hell? That's like some tripophobia shit. What? Ah, Spike, help! To be continued. So I'm guessing we have an attack from Pinky. Uh, part four. Uh, trigger warning. Blood and cuts. <coughs> Excuse me. Twilight tossed Spike on her back and busted out of one of the top windows to escape Pinky, or at least what she's turned into. Hold on, Spike, and it looks like Twilight got messed up. She has like a, a cut in between her eyes, like a little X mark. Her wing got pretty messed up. She has a cut on her neck, on her other uh, hoof over here. Spike seems to be the same, but Twilight definitely got the bad end of the stick with this one. She made it back to the library and put Spike to sleep, and sent out letters to all of her friends to meet her at the library to talk. She was just gonna wait for her, but she finally noticed all of the blood and cuts on her body from the broken glass. Oh, that was from the glass window? Oh my goodness, I need to get myself cleaned up! She bandaged herself up and went back to calm down and wait for her friends and the princesses. Sighs. A few minutes later, Rarity, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack arrived. What happened to you? Are you and Spike okay? Is everything alright? We came as quickly as we could, darling. Twilight told them what happened and explained to all of them what happened to her and how Pinkie Pie is infected with a virus while they waited on Celestia and Luna. Are you alright? Yeah, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to talk about someone who isn't. She told Celestia and Luna what she told the rest of the group, and she decided the kingdom should go on lockdown to try and keep anyone else from getting infected and becoming like Pinkie Pie. Twilight status is worried. She has nothing in her inventory, and she's not infected from what it seems so far. Her health is 97%, she is 2% tired, 0% hunger, and 0% thirst. Rarity is also basically the same as Twilight when it comes to uh, status and inventory and infection rate. Her health is 100%, she's 2% tired, and hunger and thirst are both zero. Fluttershy is basically the same thing when it comes to status, inventory, and infection rate. And everything's exactly the same as Rarity's. Everything's the same with Applejack. And it looks here like they accidentally posted a screenshot inside of the art thing they were using for Dash. But it's exactly the same for Dash as it was for the others. Exactly the same for Luna. Exactly the same for Celestia. 
Pinky's status is infected, and two infected the cure. And she has nothing in her inventory, but she's level... She's stage 3 infected. Health is 71%, she's 1% tired, 65% hunger rate, and a 32% thirst rate, so... Pinky's pretty gone. The apocalypse has begun. To be continued. So, pretty interesting so far. So, the start of the infection came from Pinky, which is... Interesting to say the least, I would say. So I like where this is going. It's quite different. Got Poison Berry Part 5. It doesn't seem as if we have a trigger warning for this one. They all decided that Twilight Spike, Rarity, Fluttershy, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash were to live in the library and survive there until this was all over. The princesses went back to the castle. They boarded the windows and doors for protection. When it turned night, a strange fog would rest just above the ground in all of Equestria. The siren started today. I, th um, I think we should go to sleep for the night and stop worrying for a while. Luna and Celestia said they were going to keep everyone safe. I think we should too. It might be calming to have a good night's sleep. Okay, if you say so, alright. And, and then they go to bed, right? A few minutes later, they're all sleeping. Later that night, bang. What was that? No clue. I don't know, but I'll go check it out. It's always bad to check it out by yourself, Twilight. Come on now. Don't worry, I will. Be safe, Twilight. I wonder what it was. I'll check to see if anyone is outside. Twilight's POV. What the hell is wrong with Pinky? My goodness. Ah! To be continued. Interesting. Part 6. No trigger warning. Good to go. Ah! And Pinky's right outside her window. She's running upstairs to tell her friends. What happened? Is there a monster? I'm fine, but it was Pinky. She was outside of the window, but she couldn't get through the wooden board, so we're gonna be fine. Are you sure? Yes. After they all calmed down and just started talking to keep their minds off of the monster incident, they all looked peaceful. Later on, they all fell asleep. So they fall asleep again. Wait, look at the window. <coughs> Sorry about my girlfriend in the background. Her asthma has been pretty bad lately. Don't mind her. But as you can see up here, the light starts glowing from the window. They were all very tired, so they all slept in a bit. Alright. They all woke up and were happy to know that no monsters got in during the night. We need to go get some supplies. We don't know how long this could last. You're right, who knows how long we have to survive with Equestria in this condition. They're about to go get survival supplies, but they have no clue how dangerous or safe it is outdoors. To be continued. We got the stages of infection here. So these are the stages of the infection in my MLP infection AU, the poison berry infection. Sorry I didn't post a sooner. Trigger warning, we got blood, blisters, and body gore, so do be aware of that. Uh, we'll use this pony for our example. Rest in peace. Is that uh, Coco Pommel or whatever her name is? I don't remember. Stage one, so we got like blue dots, blue spots all over the pony's bodies that kind of show like... Uh, the effect of eating the poisonous berries. Stage 2. It looks like the eyes, like, dilate. And the spots do get a little bit bigger. And, um... The, oh, the cutie mark starts to fade, too. Stage 3. No cutie mark. You can see the ribs. Blue rings in the eyes. Blue drool. And blue blisters on the body. Okay. Uh, stage 4. Bleeding from the belly. And random cuts. Stage 5, uh, getting skinnier and breaking bones. Jesus. Stage 6, no eyelashes and thin mane and tail, so the hair thins out. And then they die. Rest in peace. By the way, more episodes are in the making currently, so let's move on. Uh, we got a little thing here that says, sorry I haven't posted in a while, but luckily we're continuing forward, because I believe there's one more episode out right now. Yep, episode 7. So let's take a look at that. 
They were all hungry and thirsty and needed to go get supplies, but they didn't know how safe or dangerous it is outside of the library. We all need to team up and get supplies in order for all of us to survive together. Yes, but it could be extremely dangerous. We don't know how many ponies are infected out there. Yeah, and Pinkie Pie probably escaped by now. They all got ready and headed into the forest while making sure to stay together so they would be safe if anything came their way during the hunt for food and supplies. We should probably go out this way. Yeah, okay. They wandered deep into the woods to continue their search, even though they heard some odd noises along the way. There's gotta be something on the other side. We need to see if there is a way through this fans. They couldn't find a way through, so Rambodash volunteered to fly over and take a look. Oh, Jesus, of course they separate Dash from the others. What is that crying noise? Help, please, and as you can see, Pinky's in the back. I would assume that's Pinky. Rainbow Dash heard a pony in distress, so she decided to be brave and fly to the pony's rescue. I hope they're okay. She finally reached a spot where she heard crying from, but what she saw was no pony in danger, but a mockingbird of a horrific creature that had once been her friend. You finally found me, Rainbow Dash! Oh god. There was a million thoughts going through her mind at that point. But the main thought yelled, run. To be continued. Oh, there's, there is more parts. Okay, there's a part A. So let's continue. She wanted to run, but she couldn't. So run, 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 run. Her head was screaming run, but her body was stiff as a board and unable to blink. Then Pinky got closer. Please help me, I'm still in here. Still here. The others were still waiting. Where is she? I hope she's okay. Finally, her body could move, and as she ran, Pinky's words echoed through her head. Please. And huff huff from Rainbow Dash. She finally made it back to the others. Go, run. Okay. She made it over the fence, and they ran Rainbow Dash. Or they ran. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is the only one that currently knows what's on the other side of that fence. They're all running. They made it back to town. The fog was still there. To be continued. Sorry for such a short episode. It is okay. And this was the last video that they have uploaded. And they've been busy with school. So it's okay. But this was uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Poisoned. I do like it. I think it's a pretty solid AU. And even though there's a few uh, grammatical issues throughout, I do think it's remotely enjoyable. And I like that the infection kind of started with Pinky and a Berry. Because I have done a Poison Berry AU before, and it has like 60,000 plus views. So, I thought it would be interesting to do another one. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, dislike if you didn't. It's completely up to you. Uh, if you want to check out this AU, it'll be linked in the description below. Feel free to check it out, although I cannot promise if it'll be here in the future, because I do notice a lot of AU creators delete their AUs after a while, or they just get banned off of TikTok. So enjoy this infection while you can. I would say for what it's worth, it is a pretty enjoyable one. And I give props to the creator for definitely trying to make something entertaining. And I like where it's going. So it's pretty solid, pretty cool, and you got to give it credit. So thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Silver 03 Shots outside, I'll show you right I can't know if it's talking, I prefer to move silent Plus the SK, you'll count some pride I'll say, ha, 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 don't die And I tell you that I love the way, fuck, don't lie I can't even make you perfect time